Welcome back to Janice Converses. Here we are approaching the first date of our loved one's first anniversary. The thought of this day can feel so overwhelming and emotional. Grief is full of painful milestones. The first birthday, Christmas, Father's Day and Mother's Day and so on. The way you choose to acknowledge your loved one's death can change with every passing year. I'm not saying it's not going to be a rough day because it's been a whole year without seeing them or hearing their voice. The grief may have subdued a little, but especially on the day of, you will prob probably feel raw. In this video, I have decided to focus on ideas on how to mark our loved one's first death anniversary, because for me, this was the most difficult of dates. I became very anxious and overwhelmed with the deep pain of acknowledging my mum was gone. The best way for me to approach this date, I decided to celebrate my mum's life. Some people may think, how can you celebrate a life that is gone? Someone who is dearly missed. Well, this was much more manageable for me. Words such as honour, remember or observe would be other words that could also be used instead of the word anniversary. A loved one actually lived and they deserve to be remembered, cherished and honoured, even if they had their faults, and we all do. Their life impacted many people in many ways. It is healthy to acknowledge this. As I stated in my last video on acceptance, I celebrated my mother's life by reading Psalm 23, which was one of her favourites, and we ate two of her favourite snacks, which is the monkey nut, which is the unsorted peanuts, and avocado pear. My children were also included in this, which made it even more special. We all had a role to play for my mum's first death anniversary. We still keep this going every year and she passed 11 years ago. This video isn't about what you should do, it's about having the choice to choose or not to choose. But it's, to, but it's good to have ideas and hear how others have done it. You do whatever feels right. So let's get started. Number one, reading prayers and scriptures. Number two, you may prefer a moment of silence. Number three, ask others to print out and bring photos of your loved one. Number four, ask others to write down their memories to keep in a memory jar. Number five, journaling each year on their death anniversary. It can be very therapeutic. Number six, go through your sympathy cards and write thank you notes. Number seven, you can get a necklace with their name or signature engraved and maybe include their birthstone as well. Number eight, go through your photos on your phone and maybe choose this day to decide which photos you would like to be printed off. Number nine, going to their grave, either by yourself or with others. If going by yourself, bring a pop-up travel chair so you can sit a while. Number 10, if you are a writer or a poet, compose something. It can be as short or as few sentences or a full length biography. 11. 
butterflies. Some people choose to release butterflies around their loved one's pictures because butterflies are a beautiful symbol of hope and renewal. Number 12. You could plant a tree and have a picnic around it, then share your memories of your loved one. 13. Plan on writing a note to your loved one, tie it to a helium filled balloon and let it go. 14. Go into your loved one's favourite restaurant with family members. 15. Play your favourite song or hymn. Sit back and listen and let the music wash over you. If the two of you had a special song, listen to that as well. Number 16. Scatter their ashes somewhere meaningful. 17. Light a candle for them. Maybe choose a scented candle with a fragrance that brings memories back. 18. Throw a dinner party with other people who knew your loved one well and share stories. 19. Sleep in all day. 20. And the last one on my list is just go about your day as normal. God helped me to realise that the pain of losing a loved one never goes away. You just find new ways to help deal with it. If faith is a big part of your life like it is mine, I would love to share three of the many scriptures on grief and comfort. These verses have significantly helped with my healing process. I hope that the following scriptures comfort you in your difficult time of grief. In Psalm 34 verse 18 it says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And in Revelations chapter 21 verse 4, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. You may want to share these scriptures yourself to a friend or a family member that you know who are experiencing a loved one's death. Please share in the comments if you have chosen any of my ideas or please share one of your unique ideas as you mark the first anniversary of your loved one's death. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as there'll be lots more topics that I'll be covering. So until next time, take care and God bless.